ways caught up with him and he found himself constantly broke and having to live off the generous, generosity and the wealth of his friends. His poems turned to discussions on poverty and the underprivilege, and then he met the love of his life and more. They were wed, which landed him in prison, but that's another story, and proceeded to have 12 children in 16 years. As I said, the man enjoyed his life. But then during the birth of their 12th child, tragedy struck. And Don suddenly found himself without the love of his life and nothing but a bunch of whys. Why did God have to take her? Why was he forced to go on without her? Why was the love of his life gone forever? It was during this tumultuous time in his personal life, while trying to answer all of these whys, that Dunn came across the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that says, So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is separation. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Death is swallowed up in victory. Dunn had to ponder what in this tragic loss that he was facing could it mean that death was swallowed up in victory? What was victorious about his precious, fun-loving, kind-hearted Anne being taken from him? And this began a frantic search through the scriptures and many conversations with men of faith for him to realize just what the scripture was saying. And after the realization, he penned one of my favorite poems of all time, Death, Be Not Proud. When I heard the tragic news of John Wesley's sudden and unexpected passing, my mind immediately went back to this poem and the lesson that Don shared with us. There is no victory in death, only separation from a loved one. Until that day when the dead in Christ shall rise and we all are reunited once again. Yes, the separation hurts. Yes, we mourn for our friend and loved one not being in our life at this moment. But we do not give death victory. We do not give death victory over our memories. Our friendship, our moments of joy, sadness, and laughter spent with John Wesley because death can't take those things from us. They are our treasures given to us by the life of John Wesley Seminole and shared with each of us as only John Wesley could share them. I'd like to share with you now this poem that I love in honor of John Wesley and to remind all of you that death is not victorious here as long as we carry his memory in our hearts for one day we will see him again not as a mere reflection but face to face death be not proud by John Dunn Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow, die not, poor death. Nor yet canst thou kill me from rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be much pleasure. Then from thee much more must flow, and soonest our best men with thee do go. Rest of their bones and souls delivery. But thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and men of desperation, and dust with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well. And better than thy strove, why swellest thou then? One short sleep past, 
we wait eternally, and death shall be no more. For death, thou shalt surely die. Amen.